Now let's see one problem on this one. NCR by NCR minus 1 equal to N minus R plus 1 by R. So uh, if you if you observe it, we are we have we are given three values. NCR minus 1 equal to something, NCR equal to something and NCR plus 1 equal to something. Now using these three values, we are supposed to find out the values of N and R. Then what I do is, using these three equations, I'll get two equations and from those two equations, I'll solve these two variables. Okay. Now let's see how to write it. So if I can write it in terms of NCR by NCR minus 1, then it will be easy for me, uh, you know, to analyze. So NCR divided by NCR minus 1, we know that it is already N minus R plus 1 divided by R just now we have seen it that equal to NCR value is 84 divided by 36 right so 242s and 218s right and 221s 29s 37s 33s so that is equal to 7 by 3 right okay so I, I could have directly given you know done it with 3 okay or uh, even with 12 so let's see this one so now you can cross multiply this and you can find it out so what is it 3 into n minus r plus 1 equal to 7 into r you can just cross multiply it and you are going to get one equation like this you can simplify this equation if you want that is not my intention i just wanted to show you you, you please simplify that and now the other one is I can write it like this nc r plus 1 divided by nc r right so if I write like this you might get confused because the formula is in, in terms of nc r divided by nc r minus 1 but here I am taking something as nc r plus 1 and then nc r so just to convert it into this formula type so let us say r minus r plus 1 equal to x right then if r plus 1 equal to x then what happens to r r equal to x minus 1 then if i substitute in place in place of r plus 1 and r x and x minus 1 we get this as ncx divided by nc x minus 1 then what do we get here see ncr divided by ncr minus 1 is equal to like this right so which is nothing but n minus x plus 1 divided by x just see this in place of r i am just substituting x now what is x x equal to r plus 1 isn't it x equal to r plus 1 therefore substitute in place of x r plus 1 then what do you get n minus r plus 1 plus 1 divided by r plus 1 so that equal to n minus r divided by r plus 1 so what do we get here so we already know that it is already given that nc r plus 1 divided by nc r equal to 84 nc r plus 1 divided by nc r equal to nc r plus 1 divided by nc r equal to 126 divided by 84 so now you can cross multiply this and you will get one equation so already we got one equation here and if you cross multiply that you are going to get one more equation and using these two equations you can directly solve uh, the two values of n and r if you solve the two values of n and r you are going to get n equal to 9 and r equal to 3 i think you just check this it is not very difficult you can do the computation and you can get it okay so that is the application of this formula you can apply you know whenever such question is given it will be difficult to directly solve it right so one other option is if it is not a if it is if it is just a multiple option question definitely this will not be multiple option question they will definitely give it as you know uh, this fill in the blank kind of question if they give it as a multiple choice question you can just take the choices and you can substitute it there and you can find it out you need not do this method also definitely they are going to give it as fill in the blanks then you are supposed to solve it this way okay